This is Air Panama, the local airline that has been connecting Panama's most stunning destinations since 1980. Operating from Albrook Airport in Panama City, Air Panama only has a fleet of seven aircraft, mostly Fokker 50s. These aircraft are designed to transport you to some of the most visual stunning destinations in the country. Today I will be joining Air Panama on a journey to the beautiful islands of Bocos del Toro, and I will show you what it's like to fly with them and what you can expect on board. So fasten your seatbelts, sit back and enjoy the ride as we take to the skies with Air Panama. The flight schedule for today is a brief one, taking off from Panama City and heading towards Bocos del Toro. The distance to be covered during this flight is only 186 miles, but it still takes approximately one hour to complete the journey. Oldbrook Airport is a really small airport serving mostly Air Panama and some private planes. There isn't much to do at the airport, it has a coffee shop and that's about it. Upon arrival we observed that the queue has already formed for the check-in, which was a rather hands-on process. Uh, the check-in went great, they actually use uh, manual baggage uh, stickers, so they write on it, the kilos and the number and everything, <laughs> really cool. And uh, now we're waiting for uh, for the security check, they don't open until the plane is here. And then I think it, I think we will go straight to the airport, uh, airplane. But we will see. Approximately 30 minutes prior to the scheduled arrival time of our departure, the security checkpoint opened. It was a typical screening process that included the use of X-ray machine and a metal detector. Following the screening, we were directed to a waiting area with a breathtaking view of the airfield. The waiting area lacked any stores or boutique, with only a vending machine available for refreshments. Shortly thereafter, the plane pulled up to the stand. Glancing at the seat map, it appears that the aircraft can accommodate 50 passengers in a 2-2 layout in economy class. There is some extra legroom in the first row and the third row. The boarding started quickly after all the passengers had disembarked and then we walked out to the plane via the tarmac. Once inside, you can feel that this is a smaller plane than usual. The overhead bins were unable to accommodate a typically carry-on suitcase, so be sure to check it in before you fly. The seats have a comfortable appearance and have a leather finish. The seat pitch is adequate, and for reference, I am 180 cm of 5'11". Positioned in front of you, there's a storage compartment and a table. To your side, there is an ashtray, though I sincerely hope that no one attempts to smoke on this plane. One observation I made was the seat itself is somewhat narrow, providing limited space for movement. Additionally, individual air nozzles are situated overhead. The boarding was quick, and soon we were taxiing towards the runway for takeoff. The fact about the airport at Bocos del Toros is that it's one of the few airports in the world where plane takes off and land over a body of water, namely the Caribbean Sea. This unique feature adds to the stunning scenic view for passengers arriving and departing from the airport. After roughly an hour into the flight, the landing gear was extended as we made our final approach towards the island. The landing was breathtaking, just passing over the house roofs before touching down. Thank you. Hello. Well, this was Air Panama from uh, Panama to Bucos del Toros. Nice flight. Enjoyable. This is the aircraft. This is the airport. Easy way from getting from A to B uh, in Panama to Bucos del Toros.
At last, our luggage arrives delivered in a unique manner through a hole in the wall, providing a pleasant conclusion to the flight. Sorry. Thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, I hope you will consider subscribing. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos, and until next time, have a safe flight.